Interpretation of the Holy Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. With the help of Allah, we have started to have a brief interpretation of Quran, and we reach to chapter Quraysh, chapter 106 of Quran. Please listen to verse 1 to 4. Allah Ta'ala says Lila fi Quraysh for the familiarity of the Quraysh Ila fihim rihlat ash-shata'i was safe their familiarity with the journeys winter and summer falya'budu rabb hadha al-bayt so let them worship the lord of this house alladhi at'amahum min ju' وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْفٍ Who has fed them against hunger and has made them safe from fear. Some of the commentators of the Quran believes that this chapter is the continuing of the last chapter, chapter feel. And both of them are considered as a one chapter and they said this is the reason that a person cannot read one of these two chapters in a prayer alone. So if he is going to recite chapter fill in Quran in the prayer in prayer, he has to read chapter fill and Quraysh attached together. It, they said it is like Surah al duha and Surah Inshrah that they are considered as a one chapter and if a person decides to recite them in Quran he has to recite both of them he cannot separate and choose one of them <laughs> we talked in last chapter that Abraham attacked the people of Quraysh and Kabe and it is said that if Abraham could succeed, the livelihood of the Quraysh was really in danger and they had serious problem. It was the reason that Allah Ta'ala decided to support the Quraysh people. And in this chapter, when Allah continues, when he said that he abolish the followers of Abraham, then he says, Li la fi Quraysh. It means for the family of Quraysh. Then Allah Ta'ala says, Ila fihim rihlat ash-shata'i wa saif. What is rihla? Rihla means to travel, to go from one place to another place. As it is mentioned in the history, Quraysh people had the journey every year, every year two times. Two times a year they had a journey, they were traveling from Saudi Arabia, for example, to Yemen, and one time from Saudi Arabia to Sham, it means Syria. As we know, the custom of the people in that time, we say the people of ignorance, in the day of ignorance, it was an honor for them to kill each other, to attack each other. 
and bloodshed was so simple for them and they were enjoying in such a time Allah Taala is talking about attachment about loving and familiarity and good connection and relation with the family among the family because Allah Taala wants to raise these people he wanted to tell them that this is a bad customer. You should look at each other as a family, member of the family. Then he talks about ilaf, attachment, kindness, <coughs> and it is a grace of Allah. It is a mercy of Allah to Quraysh people. Allah Taala talks about the journey and traveling of Quraysh, as we said, they were traveling twice in a year, one time to Yemen and one time to Sham, Syria. But what is the effect of these three? We know that the trip from one country to another country, it brings the brightness and also a splendor for the economy of the country. When the members of one country travel to another country, it means they have an export and import. It causes that the market will be fresh all the time. At the same time, that the exchanges of the culture will help a nation, a culture will be improved and civilized. Because when they go to another country, to another culture, and look at them, they will learn a lot. As they bring the items and import some items, at the same time, they learn something good. This is the reason that it is recommended in Islam to travel to different places. See Ruf al Go and travel in the earth and see other places. In last chapter, Allah Taala talked about the followers of Abraham and how he abolished them, destroyed them. We should remember that after the event, such an event that they attacked the Kaaba and Allah destroyed them all, after that, the people inside Saudi Arabia and outside, they started to give a special respect to the Quraysh people because they considered it as a, such a help from Allah, grace from Allah to Quraysh. Because as we said, this attack, if the Abraha was succeeded, for example, in his attack, it was so terrible for the Quraysh people Financially, they could face serious problem. So after that, after that event, people were giving a special respect to Quraysh because they were considered that Allah support them by destroying and abolishing Abraham and his followers. We will understand a few things from these chapters. One. When Allah Taala talks about the attack and uh, the defeat of the enemies, we will understand that the unity of a nation is so important and to defeat the enemy is a very good cause and important cause for bringing the unity in the nation. And Allah Taala wanted to support the Quraysh, and He attacked the, their enemy. And after enemy's defeat, the unity of Quraysh was established. فَجَعَلَهُمْ كَأَسْفٍ مَعْكُولٍ and made them like green crops. The word Allah Taala says. Lila for Quraysh, for the familiarity of Quraysh. 
we will understand that affection and familiarity, kindness among the members of a community, it is a blessing of Allah. It is a bounty of Allah. Allah wanted to support the Quraysh people. He defeated them all and made the unity among the people. So the unity and affection is a, one of Allah's blessings. It means we should take care of having such a blessing if we have. If any time we think that it is hurted, we should try our best to bring it back in our community and our society. All the time we see wonderful brothers and sisters in the community that all the time they try to be patient and keep the unity among the brothers and sisters. We should know that this is a blessing of Allah. Then Allah Taala says, فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ الَّذِي أَطْعَمَهُمْ مِنْ جُوءٍ وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْفٍ Allah wants to in, invite people to worship Him and order them to worship Him. But He says, فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ Worship him, the Lord of this house, the one who has fed you from hunger and made them safe from fear. It means if you want the people to worship Allah, you should know that financial issues, financial problems and the security of the society is so important for the people. If the people have no security, and they are not secure financially, it is difficult to ask them and expect them to worship Allah. So Allah says, okay, worship him, the one that before that he has secured you. He has provided for you your livelihood and brought you security and made you safe from fear. فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ Allah Taala says, Okay, Allah blessed you, and now after that, thank Him by worshipping Him. One of the philosophies of worshipping Allah is bounty to thank bounty giver. The intellect will tell us, if somebody helps us and gave us something, even a small gift, we should appreciate. If Allah is a real bounty giver to us, if Allah is the one who solves all our problems, even if He doesn't solve a problem, it is because of ourselves. Sometimes He gives medicine to us to improve and to bring our healthy back. If Allah helps in such a way, we should thank Him. So one of the philosophy of worshipping Allah is to thank the bounty giver. فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ We should know that Allah is the one who is handling the issues of His house and his mosque. So if some people attack it, okay, do whatever you want. He has the owner and he has a person to take care of that and that is Lord. فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ الَّذِي أَطْعَمَهُمْ مِنْ جُوءٍ وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْفٍ We should know that our Alumni is in the hand of Allah, and Allah is the one who provides it, who secures it, and after that also will bring the security to the society. And when we have the security in livelihood, and we are saved from the fear, after that we should know that we have to use it in the way of Allah. Some people unfortunately take advantage of the security that they have, security in their livelihood. 
Some people, of course, when you are living in Europe or America, you have social security. Social security, it means in the time that you lose your job and you face some problems and you will not be able to go to work, the government is going to help you. But Allah Taala says, the real one, the person who is giving security to you in your livelihood and also in the society secure you and save you from the fear, I am the one. Try to worship me. So if you have such a security and you believe that Allah is providing that, appreciate him by worshipping. فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ الَّذِي أَطْعَمَهُمْ مِنْ جُوءُ We understand from this point when Allah says, worship him, the one that who fed you from hunger. We will understand that one of the human qualities, human characteristics is our need to food. All of us we need. When we have such a need and it is our, one of our qualities that we need, we need somebody to provide it and s provide the food and satisfy our need. When Allah is doing that, it means Allah has a grace to Allah. And He says, don't worry. If you have problem financially, I am the one who take care of that. وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خوف. Also, Allah Taala is the one who has made them, the people, safe from the fear. إِلَافِهِمْ رِحْلَةَ الشَّطَاءِ وَالصَّيْفِ their family with their journeys by winter and summer. We will understand that traveling from one place to another place is something that is recommended in Islam and Allah loves it even for making money. That is wonderful. We make a reward by traveling, making money, and also trying to learn from some people who are living somewhere else. We ask Allah to help us to be good followers of Islam. And thank you very much for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.